Hi, I'm Michael Greco. I'm a professional photographer living in Los Angeles, California. For over 20 years, I've shot images of movie stars, models, and professionals. During that time, I've had to learn how to store, retrieve, and copy my work using all kinds of medium, hard drive, flash drive, SSD drive, and RAIDs. This is one of those short videos for howtoarchive.com that'll give you some examples of what I do and why I do it. A lot of the shoots I do are very big production shoots. The most important thing on a celebrity shoot or a big advertising shoot is to keep the shoot moving quickly. That means the computers have to start quickly, the files have to transfer quickly, everything has to happen smoothly. Today, files have gotten so much bigger. Video has gone from 2K to 4K. My capture files have gone up to 50 megabytes with my high-end camera. And because the files are bigger, we're required to transfer more data, and it's very important that that happens even faster. The next important thing is to keep the files safe. You really want to make sure that if you have an hour with a celebrity, or somebody has spent a load of money on a big ad shoot, that the files are safe, that nothing's gonna to happen to them, that if someone drops a hard drive, you're not gonna lose everything. The first time I was exposed to an SSD drive or a solid state drive was from my internal assistants and my digital capture team. They explained to me the advantage of solid state drives. A number of years back, when software wasn't as consistent as it is now and wasn't as stable as it is now, we'd have to reboot the computer regularly if the camera was tethered, in other words, attached to the computer. If the camera froze, often you couldn't just unplug it and plug it back in and restart the camera, you would have to restart the computer too. When we restarted the computer with a traditional hard drive, it takes a long time. It takes three to five minutes, depending on how many pieces of software you have and what it has to load into the system. And during that time, everyone's looking at you, wondering when the shoot's gonna come back and happen. So when we put our first SanDisk SSD drive that we got an adapter for and put into the computer and then reboot that computer, that computer now booted up in two minutes or a minute and a half. SSDs have no moving parts to break, which make them more reliable, more rugged, and energy efficient. SSDs provide greater access speed. There's no substitute for getting your files quicker, especially when you're in the middle of your workflow. SSDs are also extremely compact and lightweight because they do not use traditional spinning hard drive platters. The only thing to consider here is what is the size of the drive you're replacing. In laptops or small servers, those usually have two and a half inch hard drives and these SSD drives fit perfectly. A tower usually has a three and a half inch hard drive and you're gonna need to get an adapter. In this case, this is our main retouching computer. Yes, it is our main retouching computer. And for the purposes of this video, I am pulling it apart. So, and we have an adapter here. You'll see the SSD drive is in an enclosure that holds it to make it look like it's a three and a half inch hard drive for the purposes of this computer. Given the benefits of SSD drives over the years, I've replaced all of my traditional standard hard drives, the startup drives and all the computers with SSD drives. And now when I'm on the field, I have a 480 gig SanDisk Extreme Pro drive in the computer. I have one in the external case and through USB 3, which is lightning fast, I'm able to connect and copy my files. The only disadvantage to an SSD drive is that they cost a little bit more. So they're not really good for huge amounts of storage. You wanna use them strategically as the parts of the computer that make things run and the areas that where you need to transfer things quickly like out in the field. I hope this video has helped you better understand the advantages of using solid state drives. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please look for other videos at howtoarchive.com.